Hey everybody, back to work on the Bronco 2. Uh, this time I want to try to do a little project on the rear bumper, but in order to do it, I have to remove the rear bumper. And I looked for videos, I read my Chilton manual, just I couldn't find any good resources to show me how to get it off. So that's what I wanted to do today is kind of film myself doing this project. So if you're having the same issue, you can follow along and remove the rear bumper off of your Bronco 2 or Ford Ranger pickup truck. I'm pretty sure they're the same, same process. Um, if it's not, it'll hopefully be close enough to get you through the project. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this black plastic panel that fills the gap in between the body and the rear bumper. There should be some fasteners all along here. Uh, mine are Phillips head screws or it might be hex head whichever the case may be, but go ahead and start by removing those screws and removing this black panel. So with those fasteners removed, we'll just kind of slide this up without breaking it, and up over that weather strip, and we'll gently, gently pull it up and out, just like that set it aside. These are the two nuts that we're going to be working on. They are 21 millimeter and there's one here, a little bit less threads hanging out, and then this one up here that has more threads hanging out. If they're rusty, go ahead and hit them with some penetrating oil before you start doing the project. Uh, that way it has some time to work itself in. But these two bolts are what hold the bumper onto the frame and it's on the same location on the other side so those are the only four bolts that we're going to need to remove okay so hopefully you can see from right there but what we're going to do start with a short 21 millimeter socket and we're going to start at the bottom bolt Ooh, that's kind of so that one's free I'm just going to loosen it up don't take it all the way off just yet I'll show you why here in a second. And then next, we're going to use a deep 21 millimeter and an extension. We're going to get to that top bolt. We're using an extension so that we can clear this spring perch. Ugh. Oh yeah, nice and easy. So, break it free. And if you get it free enough, can get in there and finish it by hand. Yeah, probably a little bit more, a little bit more for me. Okay. A little bit more. A little more. Same thing. Get it until you can start to hand turn it and just get it as close to the end as you can make the uh the top of the nut flush with that stud and then go to the other side and locate the other two bolts do the exact same thing on that side all right so next step in the process is we're going to remove the pigtails from the license plate lights and it's pretty easy. This one's already out. Uh, just reach in here and you're going to grab the back of the pigtail with your hand and spin it counterclockwise. And once you spin it counterclockwise, you should be able to get that pigtail and pull it out. With all the dirt and spiders and everything that's been in there, we're going to kind of just tuck it in that loom right there so it's up and out of the way. All right, I'm going to grab a hammer. For the next step we got our hammer this particular one's my wife's favorite the good old ball peen hammer but now that we got it we're gonna slide under here and because we didn't unthread those bolts all the way we're just gonna give it a little tap just to unseat that bracket so a little tap 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 tap, tap. there so now that that's loose, 
unscrew the rest of those nuts. And I'll take you to the other side and we'll go look at that. All right. Okay, hopefully you can see, but if not, just listen. Just take the hammer, a couple good strikes. And then let me come grab you. I can show you what we're talking about. So you can see how the bracket, the bracket has now moved. That's my finger. The bracket has now moved into the frame. And let's see if I can show you from the top side. All right, back at the top side, we went ahead and we unscrewed the nuts, both nuts, all the way off of those two studs. We tapped them a little bit more with the hammer. And it might be a little bit difficult to see, but when you're in here, you'll see it. There's a stud right here, and it's connected to another stud down here at the bottom with this bracket. So they're together as one unit. So what you're gonna do is take this bracket out all the way, but be careful, because that's the only the only thing holding that into the frame. So once you get those two out, have a good grip on the bumper and just pull it all the way out. Well, we have just removed all of the nuts off of all four studs and removed the passenger side bracket. And this is what we're looking at right here. Longer stud on the top, shorter stud on the bottom. And this is the only thing that's keeping your bumper connected to the frame of the truck. So once you thread those nuts off, you tap those in with a hammer, reach in and grab that bracket pull it out the difficult part is getting the second bracket got a jack stand here for safety if you got a buddy have your buddy hold the other side uh, but we're gonna go ahead and take that bracket out grab it firmly pull it off like that so to install it just do everything in reverse not too difficult um, but like I said I couldn't find anything that showed me exactly what I needed to be doing so hopefully this helps somebody uh, 21 millimeter wrench ball peen hammer you're good to go thanks